Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about R squared in ANOVA and how we can calculate that and how we interpret it. An R squared value is just a measure of the fraction of total variation that is explained by some predictor. In this case, where we're talking about a single factor ANOVA, differences among groups are going to explain a certain proportion of total variation, and that's referred to as our R squared. As a proportion, this value ranges between zero and one. So when none of the variation is explained by our differences among groups, then the R squared is zero. When all of the variation is explained by variation among groups, then our R squared is one. Most of the time it falls somewhere in between. And in most cases in ecological studies, R squared values might fall in and around a number like 0.2. So in the case of our ground squirrel example then, where we had differences in body temperature among ground squirrels exposed to one of three different ambient temperature treatments, we can calculate the R squared of this analysis by taking the proportion of total variation that is explained by variation among groups. And if you recall, these sums of squares are additive. So the between group sums of squares plus the within group sums of squares equals the total sums of squares. So the proportion of the total that's explained by the between group factor can be used as a measure of this R squared value. So in this case, then we can calculate our R squared as 0.985 or 98.5% of the variation in ground squirrel body temperatures could be explained by the experimental treatments that these individuals were exposed to. So in summary then, we can measure the proportion of variation that is explained by differences among groups in an ANOVA using something called an R squared. An R squared is calculated in this case as the proportion of total sums of squares that's explained by the between group sums of squares. As a proportion, the R squared value ranges between zero and one, where zero represents none of the variation explained by our among group factor, and one representing the case where all of the variation is explained by our among group factor. 